<coughs> What's up, YouTube? It's JB Panther back on a video. And today's video is actually going to be a, a Mark, well, actually a DC News Warner Brothers update video. I want to tell you guys about this because I saw this on the wrap. And um, again, if you, again, I will link the article in the description box down below so you guys can check it out. And also, I'll do it to show you that I'm not just making shit up. I actually find actual sources and stuff like that. So this comes from the wraps. So Warner Brothers debates whether Wonder Woman should skip the theaters for exclusive uh, streaming for digital or screaming, uh, streaming exclusive. With movie theaters closed across the globe and indefinitely, Warner Brothers' uh, decision whether to take its upcoming DC comic tentpole Wonder Woman 1984 directly to streaming. Uh, according to Warner Brothers Insider, the preference is still to release the movie theatrically, but executives are considering a streaming alternative, probably as a direct-to-customer offering rather than as part of Warner soon HBO Max. The concern the Insider said is that there is no known date for the movie theaters to reopen, and there may be a shortage of favorable dates once theaters do come back online for many films that have been postponed. Wonder Woman 1984 is still officially slated for a worldwide release on June 4th uh, with Jenkins and blah blah blah. I'm trying to think what else is this. This article is long as hell, but um, but the math of the they're talking about how, like, for example, like it might not make the same amount of money, uh, but the math of the VOD only release could be challenging if the film skips theaters. Warner Bros. would have to hit 10 millions of dollars of streaming to make the movie financially worth. While a recent analyst by Greenfield showed that a billion dollar grossing film produces $375 million in profit, but traditionally VOD could not generate that type of revenue or profit, according to Greenfield. Replacing theatrical gross profit would require 16, was it 16 to 21 million downloads units sold for a $1 billion movie and a, a charge of 30 to 40 per film rental. He noted that the most uh, PR event in history was the Mayweather and Pacquiao fight, which grossed 400 million from 4.4 million buys, charged at 90 per ninety dollars per buy. It's hard to imagine movie theaters even paying 30 to 40 for a new release every month. So home video won't even come close to the fight revenue. And it goes on and on and on, pretty much saying that it won't make as much money. Again, in my personal opinion, <laughs> Again, I don't want that to happen where it's like, all right, if you do it, you will put the... First of all, it's a million... It's First of all, you're risking millions of dollars involved. That's number one. And number two, um, you might not even get the same revenue. Again, it's a very, very big, big risk. The problem is that a lot of people right now are out of jobs, especially in Jer especially in my area, because in Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania, Connecticut... They just, anyone who works at a barbershop or a nail salon or anything that's non-essential, they pretty much sign an executive order and say, boom, you're pretty much out of work. And the problem is right now in our country, we're going through unemployment. Unemployment is like two million and it's really, really sad and really, really horrible. And, you know, we're probably going to end up in a Great Depression or even a uh, recession. So in what's happening, I don't even think you're gonna have, even if you do it, I don't think you'll have people that have the money to even buy, you know, cause it's all about life, it's all about survival right now, you feel me? Um, and they're waiting for their checks, if that comes from the government and stuff like that, or Trump or whatever it is. So I don't know, if, you know, doing this would be the best move, and if it does get successful, what happens about the movie theaters? You put them out of business or in the workers and stuff like that. It'll be like another blockbuster with Netflix type situation. Or how the video games like Xbox and PlayStation put out oh, put out the arcade business. Why pay for like three or two dollars for a one or two game place when you could buy an entire game system and play whatever hours you want. So it's that type of comfort at home. So again, I can see them doing it, but I really do not want it to happen. But let me know in the comment section below. And, and also the problem is that, one thing I want to say as well is that the problem is the movie theaters are expensive, man. Like, you know, a lot of people have been saying it, man. I mean, I like going to the movie theaters, but I got to be honest, man. Like, it's expensive, man. It's like going to a strip club, like straight up. It's like, uh, it's like if you take a family of four, you're spending almost like $200. That's not including gas and things like that and going, parking. It depends if you're in like a city you know area and stuff like that where you have to pay for parking it's expensive to go to movie theaters so why go do all that effort when you can just have it at your home paid 40 30 bucks whatever boom and have it and watch it whenever you want and you know people don't have to deal with you know people yelling and talking on the phones or kicking all the time 
And again, like I could see them doing it. I don't want it to happen because I do like the, the movie theater theatrical experience. I do like it when you're with a crowd, like Avengers Endgame, where everyone's yelling and screaming. But again, a lot of people don't want to deal with all that. It's like, man, let me just watch this on my big ass screen at home and watch it whenever I want. So that's the difference you're dealing with. So guys, let me know in the comment section below. Do you guys think this is true? Do you think it's not true? Do you think uh, Warner Brothers is going to come out and deny these claims? Because right now they haven't said anything. They probably will say something eventually if it blows up. But again, Warner Brothers, they usually quiet when stuff like this pops off. So again, let me know in the comment section below. Make sure you rate and like the video and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Peace and have a great day and take care.